Hi, so welcome to week six, which is about evidence-based practice and taking all of the things that we learned this session and bringing them all together. So yay, we're in the last week of the course. I congratulate you. Now, what skills do we need to succeed? What are our competencies for this week? This week, we're going to describe the standards that our healthcare facility set to guide individuals in performing safe and effective care. We're going to discuss the use of clinical practice guidelines, or CPG, in promoting evidence-based practice. Now, they're not the same thing. Uh, the guidelines help to promote evidence-based practice. Summarize the strategic components of effective leadership utilizing the concepts discussed in this course from a practicing leader. So this is going to involve an, an, an interview. And discuss the importance of evidence-based practice, enhancing the role of nurse leaders and managers to achieve quality improvement in healthcare. Some good articles that I have come across on leadership's impact on evidence-based practice are right here. Now, if we look at our independent study for this week, this assignment says healthcare quality is important in healthcare organizations as they focus attention on resources to measure and market patient outcomes. Clinical practice guidelines reflect evidence-based practice. That is, they should be based on cutting edge, edge research and best practices. We want you to discuss the use of CPG in promoting best practice. The practice for quality improvement in your healthcare facility requires evidence-based standards for quality control. Explain how the standards in your healthcare facility and or another facility you've worked in guided nursing in per performing safe and effective care. And our final assignment of this session is to write an eight-page paper on the topic of evidence-based practice and leadership. Um, you can do actually a paper or you can do a PowerPoint presentation with 10 to 15 slides, not counting the title and reference. So we want you to interview a practicing nurse leader and summarize their perspective of the strategic components and concepts that we explored in this course. So it would be best if this nurse leader is a nurse manager or above. Effective leadership components and concepts we discussed have been human behavior, organizational structure, ethical princi principles, advocacy, successful planning, shared goals, informatics, technology, teamwork, collaboration, evidence-based practice, and quality improvement. So some of these concepts can overlap the other, but I want you to select at least three of these concepts and in interviewing your nurse leader, have them summarize their perspective of the strategic components and or their concepts. So in other words, what are their thoughts about three of these um, components and how they um, are uh, realized in their practice. Get their perspectives on these issues in their practice. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the course. I hope you learned from the course. Thanks for sharing your expertise with me and I wish you good luck in um, your future education. Bye.